Good afternoon and what is a mild grey and cloudy day. It is Saturday the 3rd of February and I'm in the reading up with a nice hot cup of tea and a box to continue unboxing. Now what I have got in here is a copy of this, The Secret Life of John Le Carre uh, by Adam Sisman um, and um, this is an interesting essentially addendum to the previous uh, essentially authorised autobiography uh, basically um, of John le Carre uh, noted um, spy for both MI5 and MI6 and of course author um, of uh, numerous espionage novels um, that, uh, that are actually cracking reads and also some really great um, adaptations of them as well um, you know and you may have seen him so basically last year or so uh, being interviewed, basically his last big interview in the film uh, The Pigeon Tunnel, which is really good. Um, I think that's on Apple Plus. Anyway, so now that he is dead, we can know him better. Se secrecy came naturally to John Le Carre, and there were some secrets that he fought fiercely to keep. Now, whether this is more so than in his private life, apparently content in his marriage, the novelist conducted a series of um, a string of love affairs over four decades. Uh, to keep these relations secret, he made use of tradecraft that he'd learned as a spy. Code names and cover stories, uh, cutouts, safe houses and dead letter uh, boxes. Such affairs introduced both jeopardy and excitement into what was otherwise a quiet, ordered life. It would carry, uh, seemed to requ uh, require the stimulus they provided in order to write that this meant deceiving those closest to him. It is no coincidence that the portrayal became a recurrent theme in his work. Uh, Adam Sisman's definitive biography, published in 2015, revealed much about the elusive spy turned novelist, yet Le Carre was adamant that some subjects should remain hidden, at least during his lifetime. The secret life of John Le Carre is the story of what was left out and, and others um, other is on offers reflections on the difficult relations between the biography and subject. Uh, more than that, it adds a necessary code to the life and work of this complex, driven, restless man. So, essentially, what I'm saying is, is even when he wasn't a spy, he was living a spy's life or um, part of his life was lived as a spy's life the rest of it essentially was perfectly normal um, engaging in you know the, to the life of being a novelist and um, family uh, family fa uh, family man member so it's a little nice inside cover uh, uh, spread of letters to the um, um, author Adam Sisman um, Um, and that's uh, credit page contents and then introduction candor and guile presenting the you know exposing uh setting down the, the, the you know uh you know the guile that uh Le Carre was um capable of and committing um so um let me page through and we've actually samples of letters that he was writing, um, you know, to, as a subjects of, you know, of, 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 of essentially his clandestine um, activities, uh, his, uh, you know, his liaisons, um, and so on. You know, all with their agreement, as far as I'm aware. Um, so, you know, this this really is essentially a coda uh, to to his life. Um, and it's a fairly massive biography as well. It, it, it's, um, you know, sort of thing. You absolutely should. I mean, if you if you're a fan of his novels, then this is one you should actually should read because so much of his life has gone into those novels. So much of his experience, um, and so on. Um, so this is is presenting um, evidence as much of um, that life, that secret life, um, you know. Um, away from his family and public and an interesting thing there is essentially it's a secret life it's an extra secret life to the one he already had as a spy so yeah so we come to the conclusion truth and fiction um, and acknowledgements references uh, an index Uh, and then on the 
back cover blurb for um, for the author Adam Sisson. So yeah, that little autobiographer that is. So that's Secret Life of uh, John Le Carre uh, by Adam Sisson. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook, where you will see me out here uh, with a box uh, containing a book or game, which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course to think you're buying a nice hot cup of tea, then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook. I will be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.